tomorrow Bellatrix is supposed to get spayed. And how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Do you want your toy? Do you want your toy? Get it. Get it. And as you can see, this is her house. We just live in it. So, she is supposed to get spayed tomorrow, but we actually don't know how it's gonna work out because the last couple of days, her poop has been really kind of like slimy and not necessarily runny, but it just hasn't been her normal log. I'm gonna let them know. So I don't know what they'll say or if they'll say it's okay. To continue, I don't know if we're gonna have to reschedule or not, but... Yes, it's cute, it's cute. Okay. So I do still work today. Um, it's Monday, I'm working from home like I normally do on Mondays, but I just dropped off Bellatrix. They told me that they are gonna run a couple of tests, including blood work, depending on the test that they run and how confident he feels that everything's like good to go that they'll still go through with it they she did say that no news is good news and they're normally done with surgery around like 12 or 1 o'clock they do have two today and then pickup time would be around four to five so i honestly I, i'm just more nervous than she is she was getting antsy in the car but i think she was just feeling my energy and she knew that i was like anxious um so yeah uh, we'll see we'll see right now when they call hopefully everything's good i just i just hope that she is good to go and if they do do it i hope that it's like a, a fast recovery so i'll keep you guys posted and now it's just a little bit of a waiting game hello Hi. Hi, I was calling to let you know that Bellatrix is out of surgery and doing well. Um, she, everything went as planned. We placed her microchip, we did her spay, we trimmed her nails. Um, so she's in recovery right now. Okay. Um, she's still pretty groggy, so we'd like to keep her for a little while longer. So we're thinking about 4.30 for pickup. Does that work for you? Uh, yeah, that would actually be perfect. All right, sounds good. We'll go over all your discharges when you come in, okay? Okay, thank you so much. All right, you're very welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm getting ready to leave to pick her up in a little bit hopefully Raymond gets here in about five minutes if not then maybe he can meet us there I'm just a little bit nervous of how I'm going to get her in the car because she's a heavy girl she weighs 58 pounds so uh, I'm sure they'll tell me or maybe they'll even help me but it's just a concern of mine in the meantime I'm gonna show you guys what we got her just as she's recovering so we did get her this little neck pillow it ended up being a little too big for her we'll see if we get her maybe like a smaller one or maybe we'll just stick to her cone that they're gonna give her or i don't know we'll figure it out and we also got her this little onesie we'll probably put on her maybe as soon as she gets home if not before she goes to sleep it's just to cover the incision so she doesn't try to like gnaw it or do anything to it that can make it worse um i think she does get stitches so i'll have to do a follow-up hopefully next week i am off so i'll be able to take her but i'll show you guys when we get her i'm so nervous well not so much nervous anymore that it's done but i'm excited to see her and i'm also i feel like i might cry <laughs> because i don't want to see her in pain but i'll follow up with you guys maybe i'll show her in the car or maybe until we get home how are you feeling It looks like you were crying. <laughs> Are you mad at us? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Why? Because she looks so sad. Do you feel like crying? No. You're gonna fine. take care of her tomorrow and Wednesday. No, you're taking a day off. No, that's why you're working from home. No, I can't. Look, she's falling asleep already. Oh, go that way. Dazed, so. You want to go to your bed or you want me to bring it? I'll bring it.
She hasn't ate since yesterday, so I'm just gonna give her her Aller Immune Bites, which she normally loves, but come here. Come inside. Hey, be careful. Oh, wow. Good job. So she hasn't really wanted to eat. She had a couple of snacks, her, her little duck frozen morsels, but we're out of those. So we'll see if she wants to eat a little bit later. Right now I give her a greenie. Um, but she just does not know how to eat it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Maybe I'll just cut it up for her so she can at least have that because if she's not gonna eat any of her other food, then wait, give it to me. Good job. She seems to be doing well. Um, now it's just gonna be a matter of let's see how she sleeps because she's used to sleeping on her little bed but sometimes she'll jump on our bed and they told us not to let her jump. So now I'm considering we're either gonna have to be awake or very light sleepers or I don't know we have an inflatable mattress that we could possibly put out in the living room and stay here with her but I don't know I guess we'll just see and go based off of whatever the situation is because it is very likely or very possible that she'll be so tired that she won't even want to get up or do anything else. But right now after she finish her, finishes her little greenie, I am going to give her the medication that they gave me because they said that she can start it at eight. And it's eight right now. So I think that'll help her sleep through the night. So what I'm gonna do is give her that with her greenie in hopes that she'll actually eat it. Let's see. Here. Here, Billy Boo. Open. Open mouth. Oh, wow. Good job. Show everybody your, your little warrior wound. That's where they added the IV, I think they said. Oh, poor baby. But you're okay, huh? Yeah. Tell everybody good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm about to start getting ready for work, but Bellatrix is already awake and it seems like she's already doing a lot better. She woke up happy. She was wagging her tail, but she did want to get on the bed. She woke me up because she was moving around. So I was like, maybe she has to go to the bathroom. She didn't. We came back inside and she was just standing by the bed, kind of like, oh, well, can I jump or can you help me jump? She didn't want to lay down in her little bed, so I stayed awake until she did and she fell asleep and then it was fine after that. But yeah, she seems a lot better already. Um, I did give her the... I did give her the pain medication at 8. She does have to take the other medication, but that one has to be after she has like a, a full meal. But she still hasn't wanted to eat, so we'll see how, what time she eats today. But here she is. Here she is. Look at that cute girl. Hi. So she has not ate. She still has all of her food there and there. So I am making her some chicken with some rice. Well, Trix, tell the people what they want to know. How are you doing? Huh? How are you feeling? No comment? You're busy watching TV? Are you okay? I love you. I made her some basically chicken soup with just rice and sweet potato. So she had that for dinner and I was able to give her the medication. So now I just have to give her the other one. Oh, she's she's done. She's done with the camera. I did give her the one of the medications that she hadn't taken because they wanted her to take it with a with a meal. So after she ate, I gave her that, but it was kind of a struggle. She didn't want to swallow it. She kept spitting it back up. So I had to open her mouth and I basically shoved the little half pill down her throat. And then that was it. 
Um, she still has not gone to the restroom. She's gone to pee because she's drinking water and all of that. But because she had an eight, she hasn't pooped. So I'm waiting to see if maybe she goes today, maybe tomorrow. Um, the medication that she did take today said that it is possible that it could cause her like an upset stomach. So if that is the case, to discontinue it. If not, then she can take it for the rest of the five days. It's anti-inflammatory and I don't know what else. But I think over the, overall, she's doing really, really good. When I came home, she was wagging her tail. So that's a good sign. And she's been sleepy. She's been tired all day, at least according to Ray. That will be the end of this vlog. It is only yesterday and today um i think i'll still continue another one throughout the weekend just to see how she's recovering and to actually use the products that we bought her which is just the neck pillow and the little bodysuit but for now we don't want to take off her cone because she's doing pretty well with it she did try to take it off a couple of times but i mean she hasn't been able to other than that she's been she's been pretty great i i think it'll be a fairly quick recovery because she already looks a lot better today than she did yesterday but that is it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment <laughs> for bellatrix say good night good night everybody i'm taking a nappy